Okay, guys, I'm making a video to help you correct some errors and some things that you are probably missed in the, the tutorials that I gave you. So one of the first things that to remember is drawing is a pretty uh, important tool. So using the pen tool is very handy and clicking and dragging and using the Bezier curve uh, is one of those very useful things. And then remembering to close your circle. And then if you want to start a new um, circle, and then I want to just stop that one, all right? And then uh, we all know it's uh, command click. And this one's not closed off, as you can see. So one of the things that you can do is to go into, uh, forget the term here, but it's uh, in this uh, deeper mode. So that what you see, it, everything else you're drawing is no longer available. So if for some reason you have a part in your uh, painting or, or whatever artwork that you brought in that you want to close off, because you need to close it off to be able to use the paint bucket tool in here, just go back to, to this and just, if you see, it'll click, then it'll click. And you see the circle, now this one is closed. So then if you want to get back out of here, now you're back out of here. Now I'm going to show you something else that's kind of fairly useful. Uh, it's called the Object Envelope Distort Tool. So what you're going to do is select your, whoops, the wrong tool. So I'm going to go and press either uh, the hotkeys, I think, or W and V here. So that's good to know because it's a lot quicker. And I'm going to go back as I was in uh, I forget what that term is. So oh, it's uh, V and A actually. So I want uh, this and I'm going to go object and envelope distort. So this is resembles a lot of 3D tools. So make with warp. But before I do that, I'm going to actually uh, make a mesh. So you can make it as, as many or as little as you want. And then using your uh, direct selection tool, so the hotkey again is A. Just click over here and you can really start distorting this uh, in a custom way. That's really a cool tool that really allows you to draw vectors in a way that's kind of organic. So that one's worth looking at. So again, where was that? Under envelope. Reset with warp 2 is another one that you can kind of play around with. That's kind of cool. And it just warps it. And then, of course, using the A key. Uh, you can select these and move them around and make uh, your characters be, seem a little more organic. Um, give me a second here. When we're done with that, we just select off the canvas. I want to also show you some other distort tools that are kind of cool. Talked about the shape builder tool, which you can drag and create vector, uh, you know, take shapes that aren't part of one shape and make them in one. Might be useful in your, uh, so this, this here is kind of a cool tool. So what it does is it just bloats and you know you can see if it creates new vectors so and there's a whole bunch of different tools mixed in here so the pucker tool too you know you're trying to move it in and you're trying to you know create quickly your artwork so that's something very useful i'll give this a little bit of i'll give this a stroke so i'll click over here and let's go with a red stroke even though that's kind of odd um i'm back in a second Thing you have to do after you've done the envelope and you can see it's still in envelope warp mode you gotta go to object and expand so let me just right here so and now i can change the color add the stroke etc so i'll go and add a stroke um which you know you can also do if you, so there you go so that's uh really useful another tool that's very useful that i haven't really talked about is called a smooth tool Remember, you always go in Illustrator Classic mode if you don't remember how to do that. Several of you, I went and walked around, you didn't have it set up. So, because there's just way more of the tools that you really need. And I'm, what I'm going to do here is just draw a path with tons of vectors in it. And as you remember, vectors are like heavy duty on the computer. And some of you have a lot more in your traced art. So, what you do is you go to uh, the pen tool. Uh, where is it? It's gonna be right here. So use the smooth tool. So what the smooth tool does, and what it would help if I selected this object, um, the hotkey V, and second here, is the direct selection tool. And what you want to do is basically run over some of these vectors, and it gets rid of a bunch of them. And you like again, these are a lot like uh, when we were doing 3D animation. You don't want too many of them. The less there are, the easier it is to manipulate. So there you go. So that is hidden 
over here. It's called a smooth tool, very useful. Another way to do that that uh, might be simpler is called object um, and path simplify. So you have to have it uh, selected. And what it'll do is, you know, give you, you want to keep it how precise the curve, we'll say 50%, and see it does it also. That's another way to get rid of a bunch of vectors. And then, of course, using uh, the direct selection tool with the hotkey is A, you can just click on these and move them around after, right? Which we've talked about. You can even play around with the Bezier curves. And that way it allows you to, uh, uh, to do that. Okay, so the, the term that I was looking for is called isolation mode. So what you want to do is double click on it. And that's what's called isolation mode. And then you can work on just this and it doesn't affect anything else, okay? Uh, another cool tool that you may want to use to color, and I'm just going to go back, is called a blob brush. So very useful, because a lot of you are making this mistake. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to close that off. And I'm going to uh, get rid of the fill here. Make that fill nothing, okay? And let's pretend this is something you have to paint behind. So a lot of you are making this mistake. So this is not good, because when you color like this, Basically, you just added a whole bunch of vectors. So let's look at that. Lots. So let's delete that. So the blob brush kind of is a way to use uh, painting without adding so many vectors. And of course, you can, uh, this is be important, by the way, to use uh, layers. So let's go and get our layers panel. So usually what you want to do is go underneath the form that you want to paint. So what we would do is, um, Let's paint underneath. Well, we'll change the color. That would help. So um, let's go with red or something. The blob brush. And let's make it way bigger. And as you can see right now, it's... I'm going to go like this. And then what I want to do is just drag it below. And... Um, yeah, I did something wrong here, but you can create a clipping mask too, I believe. But so the main thing that I want you to know is now let's look at this. There's hardly any vectors in there compared to if you had drawn that, there would be a ton of vectors and that could crash your computer. Okay. All right, I'll just show you how to make a clipping mask. You basically use uh, your selection tool under object, go clipping mask, make, and it uh, puts everything into one, uh, one shape. Okay, if you have any other questions, let me know.